Business Math students. Today we're going to talk about, well, I'm going to read to you chapter six, uh, quiz number two. So on the, you should find this paper in your packet. Today is Friday and it needs to be submitted by May 8th by five o'clock. You can either email it to Miss Fields or myself or you can text message. Make sure that you include not only the answers, but your work. Show all your work on the paper. All right, let's get started. Question number one. The Penn School District total budget expenses last year were 8,400,000. Estimated income from other sources was 3,200,000. The total assessed value of all the property, taxable property, in Penn last year was $197 million. Find the tax rate needed to meet expenses correctly to five decimal places. So first of all, you need to figure out how much money they still need after the other sources of income is given to them. So you have to find the difference between the 8,400,000 and the 3,200,000. Once that you find that difference, you're going to divide it by the total assessed value. So you're gonna take that answer and divide it by the $197 million. That will give you decimal and go to five decimal places. I'll stop here, give you a second, and then I'll move on to question number two. Remember, at any time, you can pause these questions so that you can write down your answer. Question number two. If a family in Penn's district has a house assessed at $158,500, Use the tax rate you found in question number one and multiply to see what the family's property tax will be. So again, you're gonna take your answer from question number one and times it by the house assessment value for this family. Don't forget to round to the nearest penny, please. Question three, John's iPhone was stolen. The value was $950. John had a 400 deductible replacement cost policy. How much did John collect from the insurance company? So for this one, remember he had a loss. He does have a deductible, which you have to pay first. So the difference is going to be what the insurance company is going to pay John. Question number four. Your policy has a face value of 50000 with a $1,000 deductible. How much will your insurance company pay if your losses, loss is 6800 35,240, 55,000. You will have three separate answers. So these are three different losses. This is just like question number 25 in your homework from 6.4, um, which we went over. So make sure if you don't know how to do this, you go back and look at question number 25 on homework 6.4. So again, your face value is 50,000 with a $1,000 deductible. You had three separate losses, so you can label them A, 6,800, how much would you get? B, 35,240, and then C, 55,000. Okay, make sure that you submit this by May 8th by five o'clock, again, either email or text to Miss Fields or myself. 
And as always, have a good day, be safe, stay home, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.